Ayo, lip filler check. Today I am getting my lips done. I mean, I've had them done for years and I'm just getting them topped up. Firstly, excuse my skin. She's having a moment. Had a massive beast up here. Never gets forehead spots. Literally haven't for years. I'm a cheek and chin kind of spot girl. Like I'm used to this. This I can deal with. When it was up here, I was like, eh. Anyway, I put tan on it and that's why they look so there like they're really not there's literally nothing there just a bit of dry skin anyway i am getting my lips topped up this afternoon so i thought i would obviously vlog what i can and my experience i have done a lip filler video before and that was literally the last time i got them done back in january so i'll link that down below because it's more of an informative video so yeah, I'm going to a lady in Manchester and she trains people. So I've done my research. I've literally been like trying to find someone for months that I think I will get on with. And yeah, she trains people and is accredited. So like, she's obviously gonna be okay. So that's fine. My lips, for someone who's not had them done since January, they're not small, but like, I want them bigger. I'm getting a full meal of Russians. And yeah, I'll show you. Oh my God, that's such a disgusting angle. <laughs> Don't look at my nose. So they've still got like a nice round the side, like they haven't migrated or anything. They are still in my lips. There's no bumps or anything because I do massage them daily and always have prepared how I always prepare in that um, other lip filler video I've kind of go on about how i always bruise really easily and swell loads like i remember i got them done once and with my old lady and she had she couldn't do it all because it like swollen up so much and that's just like that's just what i do and she told me moving forward what i should do is take antihistamines for a week prior to my appointment because why am i out of breath so yeah antihistamines they have an anti-inflammatory in them so i've just been taking these for a week i need to take another one now to try and reduce any swelling and then for bruising i've got my arnica so these are just those little arnica tablets so they just come out like tiny little balls and you just keep them under your tongue and apparently it stops bruising and then for when they are done i've got some arnica cream just to put on them i usually bruise like around here like the outside of my lip got them done once came in to work the next day and they're like have you been sucking on a pen no hun i got my lips done and i bruised like a peach okay so yeah what else am i doing so my appointment isn't till this evening so beforehand because i always literally nearly pass out like i have no issues with needles i never have like i don't care but my body hates them and it always wants to pass out afterwards so i literally put so much sugar in myself i've got this massive bottle of coke i don't know how i'm gonna finish it and loads of double decker bars so i'm just gonna be munching on those before and probably after as well even though i won't be able to really move my lips so yeah, let's look at the lips again. Oh my god, my skin. It's fine. So. They're still obviously quite pouty and there is still a lot more filler in the bottom lip. That's kind of what I asked for the couple previous times I've got them done to have less in the top, more just in these bits here. From definition, that's what I'm going to ask for again. And I like the Russian technique because they are flatter instead of all puffy but like there's still quite a lot of filler in here to be honest but i just want them topped up so your gal's going to i'll take you along when i go i don't know if i'll be able to take any footage in there but i will try to i know she takes pictures and stuff for her instagram I'm a bit scared can't lie but i've got my lashes done as well so hopefully i'll have time my face hopefully when it develops i'll be feeling like a solid seven we will see right catch up with you later and the sugar rush starts i've um i think i'm also getting fat dissolving 
injections in my double chin and i've kind of wanted this for ages because i oh, just this chin ain't it really and like i swear however much weight you lose it just never comes off your chin so i um i think i might be getting those as well I'm gonna be completely transparent i'll show you the state of it now literally just looking like side on so you can see my side profile because she ain't cute right now i mean it's just not, it's not bad, but like, it's not great. This side too. I just want a bit of tightness. And sometimes you see it when I'm like talking as well from the front, which just ain't it. So let you know how that goes as well. Got my Coke, not really got very far into it, but <sighs> here we go. Another lift. Oh my god, there was so much traffic. I thought I wasn't gonna get here in time, but I've made it. Here we go. Here we go. So I am out. Is there good lighting here? Obviously, they're really solid. I've got a bit of bruising coming up. Right, the fat injections dissolving injections it was the quickest thing it was literally like ch -ch 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 -ch. all around here you can see it's a bit red it takes two weeks to kind of work and yeah that was it it's all really nice in there everyone's really lovely miss hudson was a lovely lady and yeah we'll see how it is i want to go home a clean mask so no bacteria spread onto my lips Ta -da! We can see, obviously, I've got some bruising going on around here, a bit down here, and a bit there. But overall, I'm happy with them. I'm at that stage where I just can't really move them. So I'm just here like, this is what I imagine having Botox feels like, like you just can't move. I'm really happy with the shape. We've got a nice defined Cupid's bow. And yeah, just a bit more down here. So let's discuss these fat injections or fat dissolving injections. So I opted for, it's like three syringes and in the syringe you get like, or well she did it in two goes, two holes. I don't really know. So yeah, she literally did them. I don't know if you can see, but she did like two here, two here, two here. And she said, basically it clings to any fat and it takes like two weeks to dissolve. So we should see some results in like two weeks. Keep you updated, but yeah. I mean, you won't be able to see a result now, but I'm really happy with them. Clinic, so I went to Miss Hudson's, which is um, in Ch Cheatham Hill, I think. And yeah, she's like a training academy. So she's really good and she did them. You can get like students to do your work, but I just opted for her to do them. And yeah, it was really nice in there. Everyone was so lovely. Like they offered you water and it was just a really bougie place. And I really liked it. So we'll see how these all turn out once they've settled. But as of now, I'm really happy with them. Good morning. So first things first, we're not discussing my appearance we're just doing an update so they've settled james said last night they looked so like they've been drawn on with a pencil which is just really kind but yeah they have kind of settled so not as prominent the bruising i mean this side is bad and then the chin obviously like nothing would have really happened yet but it did feel like you know when you get like a flu jab and it just feels a bit bruised afterwards like yeah it's still just last night it felt quite bruised and today it still feels a bit like pain but you know fine so this is my one day probably about 18 hour after check-in i'll check in with you tomorrow hello we are having an update it has been three days now my lips Still some bruising. I went for a walk today around Heaton Park and people were looking at me weird and I was like, what are you doing? And I was like, oh yeah, this. So it's really bad down here. On Thursday night, it was definitely the worst. Should we do a chin update? I'm not sitting well, am I? And it's any different size of yet. It doesn't hurt anymore though. These are still a bit tight. Oh, 
I'll update you in a few days. Hello, so it's now Sunday. So I've put makeup on for the first time in what feels like years. And I just thought I'd do a lip update because I'm about to put lipstick on. First time since I've had them done. So the bruising since yesterday has gone down quite a lot, thank God. So it's finally, finally starting to to see to see what's gonna look like. It still is quite swollen like up here. So it's gonna be interesting to see what my lips look like wearing lipstick. So I'll put that on now and show you. Ooh! Oh, she's happy with them. Lip combo I used, if anyone cares, is the ColourPop Another Round liner. And then I used the Viva Glam 2 by MAC and Myth in the middle. They look good. Also, let's have a chin update. I really can't see any difference as of yet, but we're having my hair up, so apparently I feel confident. It's mad how much like putting yourself together makes you feel better about yourself. Loves it, I'll update you in a few days, bye. Hello, it is now Wednesday, so it has been a week since I got my lips done. So, I mean, she's still bruised, particularly like round here. But the bruises are going down they've like settled in shape um still a bit swollen going down it's the chin again i can't really see any difference as of yet but it does take two weeks so yeah i don't think i've ever had it bruised for this long so they must have been bruised but you can also see like above my lip has bruised quite a lot, so that's fun. You know, beauty's pain. It doesn't even hurt anymore, it's fine. It just looks a bit dodge, but it's fine. Hey guys, so I'm just gonna finish off this whole lip filler, chin, fat dissolving saga. So it's Sunday now, so it's been 11 days, so almost two weeks. So they're like almost completely settled now. I'm really happy with the shape. There's still a tiniest bit of bruising here, but that's fine. And then for the chin, I think I'm going to have to have a look at the like footage from before because to be honest, I don't really see any kind of difference. So maybe with that, I'd say don't waste your money because that's like £50 I've not wasted. Uh, but the lips, really happy with them. So I hope you found this video informative. Like obviously I bruise so much and like that's so normal. So if anyone's watching this and being like, oh my God, I really bruised then if you're fine don't worry about it i should have used more arnica i did the other day to be fair and i feel like it's got better since then but anyway thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next one bye